What's up, losers, and welcome back to another Every Freaking Wednesday. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're going to love it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so we were just sitting here chit-chatting, and we thought, let's include everyone, right? Right, little Edward? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what were we talking about? Well, we were talking about a lot. But then we got to superheroes. We know, random, right? Anyways, we were on a roll. We wanted to include you guys. If you have an issue, please let us know in the comment section below. If you agree with anything we're saying, please let us know in the comment section down below. Don't be shy. All opinions welcome. So, little Edward asked me my favorite superhero. And guys, let me tell you, it's kind of hard. I, I, I like them all, but I did say my top two, probably going to be Spider-Man and uh, Batman, top two, okay? Why Spider-Man? Spider-Man just got a different kind of, uh, uh, he's got some style. I like the, tss, 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 you know what I'm saying? He's swaying, you know what I'm saying? He got the look, and then I kind of like the nerdy aspect of it. He's just kind of, I, I, I really enjoy the storyline. Batman... He's he's got his own kind of he's got the style of Batman I really enjoy as well too. But the reason why I can't really make him my number one is because I feel like anyone could come along and be Batman. Okay, here's the thing. Hear me, hear me. No, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Batman has some coin. Okay, he has access to some really great gadgets. So I just feel like if you found a really swagged out dude with a deep voice and taught him how to use some things, I think that you could recreate Batman. Now, I know people could say, well, Spider-Man didn't do nothing but get bit. Everybody could do that. But he was chosen, one might say. He was bit, but he was bit. You know what I'm saying? It could have been anybody, but it wasn't. I feel like it just takes a little more something special to really be Spider-Man. Whereas Batman, I feel like you could train someone to be that. Not, not, not to say that he's any less cool or any, any less swagged out. Because, you know, he is. But it's the same thing with Iron Man. In the sense that rich guy with, with some gadgets. There's no real... There's no real I don't want to say no skill, because you do have to have skill, but there's no rawness no Batman. to the Iron Man. Yeah. He's trained the League of Shadows. You know this? Yes. He's the greatest detective ever. <clears throat> that man See, well, people, but uh, he yes. doesn't even have superpowers. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have superpowers. That's why. He doesn't have superpowers. He didn't get bit by a spider. Right. He ain't a Superman where he's an alien. He's a regular dude. Well, exactly. See, your argument for... Well, who, let me ask you, who's your favorite superhero? Well, Batman. Batman. Batman is your favorite, okay? I just wanted for the people to know. Who's a goat? Nobody better than Batman. Now, Spider-Man comes close, but not recent memory. Recent memory. Because now he looks like he's basically Iron Man's flunky. Yeah, I know Spider-Man fans. Okay. See, nobody's sunning Batman. He doesn't have a dude that he's been teacher's pet with. Well, then again, the thing, though, that's not Spider-Man. That is how the, the movies are doing Spider-Man. That's not what Spider-Man is, though. He's not yeah. Iron Man's sidekick. Yeah, I kind of, I don't, yeah, I'm with you on that as far as the direction that they're taking Spider-Man's character. It's very interesting. But as far as movies go, it takes, to me, more of a certain, you really have to nail it with the actor as far as Batman. Because if you don't get the right person, if he th and if the actor doesn't have the right direction, it takes a special actor to really capture the essence of Batman. Whereas Spider-Man, oh. I think you can kind of get, I don't want to say you can get any old body, but you can kind of get any old body and make him a good Spider-Man. But with Batman, whoever you pick to play that part has to really be Batman. Mm, been some bad Batman. It has. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But that's the reason why the movies are bad. Yeah. 
you got you really have to get it right. And speaking of of getting it right, the Joker is you have to get that right. Now that's such a deep character. See, I get it, but even with the Joker, like I like the movie, but I'm sorry, people. That's uh. No way Batman should struggle against that Joker. He's a nerd. And he's not even a bad nerd. It's the dude who stays at home with his mom. He stays in his mama's basement. He should never... Batman should never struggle with that Joker. It was a good movie, but he's not... <laughs> he's not a threat to anybody. He's more threat to himself than Batman. Like, I don't... Like, I get it, but that's... Well, I'm talking about the Joker movie that they came out with. Yeah, that's what he's... I'm talking about. I could whoop that dude's butt. And I'm regular. I'm Batman. He shouldn't even break a sweat. That shouldn't last no longer than yeah, two seconds. Yeah, but for the for the the point of that movie, I get it. But you kind of had to do that, otherwise. He let the Joker was still better. Still, is he the best Joker of all time? No, because Jared Leto did a good Joker too, better than uh. It's just such a deep role, Joaquin but I. Finney. Well, what I liked about the Joker movie that came out with, came out over the summer, right? Are you talking about the original Walking Phoenix? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. What made that one so good is you can't help but to go into that movie thinking it's going to be a very specific plot line. I don't think anyone was really expecting for the plot to really go in the direction that it went as far as really bringing awareness to mental health and the fact that they made you, in a way, kind of look at Joker and be like, oh... Mm -hmm. I get it. He's a murderer. And what's bad about it, I get it, but people Joker is a murderer. He doesn't give no Fs about anybody. Yeah, but, but well, exactly. But it's like, That's can you good. can you blame him? Yeah, but the issue is, every they have to make it to everybody has a reason why. They're like, even with, uh, what is it, Black Panther with uh, Michael B. It's like, no, why do we have to act like this dude is all like, no, maybe he's just a bad person. Not everybody is crazy. People. No, that's, that, and that's fine, but I'm just saying for a direction of a, of a film. I just don't like that. A different that. take. You know, I think that even if you're not into Batman, Joker, or even into to just that comic storyline in general, I think that everyone could take something away from Joker. If you didn't if you didn't take anything else away from it, you could take from just be careful how you treat people. Cause you don't know who you're gonna push over the edge. Now that does that have anything to do with what we're talking about right now, superheroes but, or whatever. But that's the <laughs> thing though, they made it seem like it didn't none of that didn't even happen. So my thing is if none of that didn't happen then again, Batman should that the wise is even it shouldn't even be a contest. It's too. It it's, should last five. It feels me. It's the yeah. last five seconds. Uh, you knocked me all upside my head. Oh! It should take five seconds. It shouldn't last no more than five seconds. Mm. Mm, then if it didn't happen, then why, why, why even care about anybody in the movie? It never happens. All in his head, supposedly, right? But that's. I don't know. I'm not gonna say it was a good movie, but. Well, are you saying that in the movie they revealed that none of that happened? Or are you saying that... That's what the movie's pretty much getting at. That's why they kept going back to a lot of stuff mm -hmm. with him and the chick where he would just... Well, yeah, he, so. he imagined that. But the bulk of, like, how he grew up and the abuse... No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, towards the end there. Well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, and all of that. That, that. They made it seem like they what they were getting at. Like, you don't really know if that was real. That could have been just all in his head, though. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. I think that they revealed the parts that he made up in his head, but I think that the abuse and the the mental illness that he had, I think that that was real. No, not that. I'm talking. Yeah, mental illness because he thinks that he would think he was literally went on the TV show and whacked somebody. Well, that's what that's the part I'm talking about. That part. That, that part. but I'm talking about the abuse. And no, I'm not talking about that. Obviously, I'm talking about. Yeah, well, that's enough to make a person go. Yeah, but in the movie, they pretty much said you don't know if that happened or not. Perhaps, but I still stand by my first... And, and I can agree because of how the Joker came off. Yeah, I don't believe none of that happened. That dude is capable of doing all that? No, no way. I'm believing that. No way. That, But that's how he was presented. He was presented as a dude that was more harm to himself. I mean, come on, people. 
Yeah, I, I think that there's a good, valuable lesson in that movie. No matter what the the true yeah. underlying storyline is for Joker specifically, I think that is that is a good lesson that you know you just really need to be careful how you treat people because you don't know how close they are to snapping. I think we all have a snapping point. And, you know, look, mental illness is trendy right now and it's kind of annoying and disgusting. But for people who truly actually do have mental illness that disrupts their just kind of social norm behavior, I think it's just really important to be mindful and be considerate. Just to just be a human, regardless of what is real and what's not real with Joker. I just think in general, in real life. Yeah, you gotta be nice to crazy people. Mm-hmm. Well, I said that on my podcast. You did. Yeah, Edward has a, a, a great podcast out. He just released episode 8, ER3 podcast. Go check it out. Last episode, he talked about the 